What is up guys? Corey back with another recipe review. This recipe review is of Melissa Darabian's braised country style pork ribs. Country style pork ribs are one of my favorite cuts of meat because of how hearty the meat is and look at that wonderful intramuscular fat. It brings a lot of flavor to the meat. If you're new to cooking, braised is a term that you may not be familiar with and so I use this recipe because it's considered an easy recipe to learn it preps for 50 minutes total cook time of two hours total time of two hours and 50 minutes I will be putting the link to the recipe in the description instead of salt and freshly ground black pepper I decided to use my favorite all-purpose seasoning which is farm dust by Weaver it's got a great combination of a ton of seasonings, including salt, black pepper, rosemary, thyme, garlic, and a bunch of other things. So it's just a good overall seasoning. You want to make sure you season all sides of the meat. The country style pork ribs are very thick cut, so you want to make sure you get those edges. For this recipe, I'll be using my Dutch oven. This is a cast iron Dutch oven that I have from Lodge. And Melissa specifies in this recipe that you want to make sure you sear all sides of the pork style ribs so that you get a nice crust on the rib itself. It adds flavor. After the ribs are done browning, you're going to want to remove the meat from the pan and then add the, your mirepoix to the pan itself with uh, some olive oil. This is, sounds fancy. It's just onions, carrots, and celery. I also added yellow pepper just to add a little bit more flavor to the recipe. I added some minced garlic and then I added some tomato sauce. Now the recipe calls for tomato paste but I didn't have any so I looked up a ratio guide on tomato paste to tomato sauce and it is about one tablespoon of tomato paste equals three tablespoons of tomato sauce and then you want to let that cook down and then you want to add the apple cider vinegar and let that cook cook down and then she told you to add some red pepper flakes, and I did. I was kind of concerned that it was going to add some unwanted heat to the dish, but in retrospect, it doesn't. And finally, add your bay leaves, and then add your pork ribs on top, and add your chicken stock. I actually used turkey stock because I had that left over from my last recipe review, Gordon Ramsay thanksgiving turkey recipe review if you haven't checked that out the link will be in description you'll be watch that it's a very good recipe but you're going to want to leave the top half to the top quarter of the pork ribs peeking out of the top and finally i added a sprig of rosemary i know that's not in the recipe but i had it and it was going to go bad if i hadn't used it so i decided to throw it in and put it in the oven at 350 for an hour and a half the first hour cook covered then the half hour cook uncovered and this is what i got it looks very good it's kind of tender but not as tender as you would expect it to be that was the one complaint that i have with this recipe is from my experience following this recipe the pork rib isn't that tender it is but it's not as much as you would expect it to be the flavors are there the flavors are wonderful but it's not melt in your mouth tender as i thought it was going to be so i decided to do the recipe again and cook it at 190 degrees in a slow cooker for five hours and this is what i got now this is tender this is really good. I mean, if you have two hours and 50 minutes to make this recipe, you may as well plan further ahead and slow cook these. You could even not use a slow cooker, but lower the temperature of the oven. 
I mean, come on, just look at how easily it comes apart. And cook it for longer, four or five hours, and come up with a much better product. Uh, all, all in all, I think this recipe is really good. Like I said, the flavors are there. It's a very tasty recipe. Even following it to what it says to do, it comes out with a very tasty style of rib, just not as tender as I was hoping that it would be. So overall, I give this a recipe a four out of five. Hey you guys, if you like that video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.